your thoughts on what this means for Indian science globally. How, how does this raise the heft? I know you talked about how we can go out and start helping other countries. But in terms of India's global heft, what, how, what has it done for us? Because this is a very proud moment. See, it, it has put us on and par with the scientists who are working in NASA, ESA, Japan, Korea, you know, and space scientists, space technologists. And this will provide a lot of inputs to our uh, space physicists and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, the persons who are looking for the geology of a moon and how the universe is formed. So, overall, to the whole world, we are contributing. So, it's not only for India. We are contributing for the whole world, and the Prime Minister has talked about it. So, the, it's a, the, when, uh, what data will get it is much more precious than what money we have spent, or we would award the gold for that one. So, I must say that it's more than 640 crores of which we have spent. So, it's, we, we, are, we, are, we will be achieving much more than that. What next for as far as Indian scientists, as far as ISRO is concerned? What next can we look forward to now? Okay, immediately after three hours or four hours, Pragyan will come. That's one thing. Okay, then uh, already ISRO is ready with the Aditya one. So it will go, it will steady the sun. And that's much better because, you know, we can launch, we can go to the L1. And it's a, that sort of process we have already mastered, you know. So it's not th th that risky as of landing, etc. It will go to a proper place, put it there. All the instruments you know, which have been done, I saw it in the clean room. I went there once to the satellite center. And all hardening has been done against the sun. And uh, so Aditya one is one. The Prime Minister already told that we will go to Venus, you know, Sukriyan. So that yeah. will be another. And there is another thing is going, which is a polarimetry. It's a scientific thing. X-ray polarimetry uh, a satellite is there, which is ready. And I am sure that satellite will increase our knowledge about the how the uh, total system is working, you know, atmosphere, the extraterrestrial uh, world. So three satellites, three things are there in line. So I am sure the ISRO's hands are full. One last thing which I wish to add is that here some nine to ten private industries, you know, in reason to good private industries have contributed. Now they can go and advertise that we have made a system for the ISRO and where the it has landed on the moon. And yes, definitely they can give their systems, they can make the system for NASA, they can make for ESA, they can make for South Korea, they can make for Japan. So it is an opportunity for a large business.